Welcome to the most blessed occasion. Today is the glorious appearance day of our most beloved spiritual master, His Holiness, Sri Krishna Das Goswami. for 54 years now and always always in the mood of offering all of his service to Srila Prabhupada his beloved spiritual master and so let's just begin our outpouring of love and appreciation for this personality who has been a stalwart constantly serving Sri Prabhupada and his society for decades. Personally for me, and I'm sure everyone can agree, if you have any little distraction, bodily challenge, or ailment, or practically anything, um, you tend to not think of Krishna as much and think more of oneself, you know, at least I do. And this dedication for so many years, this example for so many years, is frankly, is very, very, very inspiring to me. Because, of course, in our mind, we have all reverence and we want to serve and we want to contribute and we want to uh, get to know the spiritual master, get to know Srila Prabhupada, get to know Krishna. We want, we want to do those things. But, and the old saying goes, the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak. <laughs> Sometimes. So, this person for so many years has just pushed himself beyond limit to serve and to try his best to share Krishna all over the globe. Very inspiring. So, oh good, I'm glad to see there's a box of tissues. <laughs> we can all share our love and joy and tears. It's a safe space for those things. Right? Um, thank you, Sandra. So thank you. So, is anybody just burning right this second to let their heart go? Hare Krishna Maharaj. Is it something a little bit more than you want to do? Can't talk about Since 36 years, you are tolerating me, giving your association, and you have a lot of good qualities, but it is very hard to explain because I have a poor friend of knowledge, so I cannot properly glorify you, Maharaj. But since I came to North Carolina 36 years, you are giving me your good association, and whatever I learned from you, it's all the way to whatever right now I am. So please keep me and my family in your shelter, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Yeah, it's such a such a good buddy. It serves the deities and very responsible and really inspirational. Okay, Maharaj. Mahara's mother, Divya. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna Gode. We should make happy appearance day. 75th year is very special. Um, we just recently, in last year, we celebrated Journey Mass Prabhu's also, 75th year. So, all of you are same, same time. So, I just want to, like, 
uh, for the couple of years, I've not been here and I've not been able to celebrate your Vyasa Puja. Although every year I used to write your poem, but from the time you have, from the time you have blessed me with mother, somehow that is not happening. So I'm sorry, but I, I just want to um, remind, remind uh, my favorite, favorite memories with you are, in, of course, in Shridams, Vrindavan, and Mayapur. The first time I met you, right after my father had left his body. And you mercifully allowed you mercifully allowed me to touch your lotus feet. Actually, it was very special. And I asked you that um, uh, since my Prabhu calls you Gurudev, so I asked you. Um, um, I say my Guru Maharaj as Guru Maharaj. I address him. So I was thinking, what should I call you? And you humbly, you humbly. Batteries fed on them. I think I'm loud enough. Can you hear me, brother? I can hear you, but everybody else may not be able to hear you. What? It's coming and going. So. You take this one. Take this one and give me hers. Let's take the back. Okay. Thank you, brother. So, um, at the time I asked, I asked you, can I call you Gurudev? And you guessed? smooth transition for me, for me to have two spiritual masters on my altar. This is the glory of Shri Prabhupada. I always think that, that we cannot really um, have just one spiritual master because Prabhupada has created all of you. So I had the opportunity of having all your association. I am having the opportunity. I had, I could get the opportunity of even actually able to shed some tears when His Holiness Bhakti Charumara left his body. I could cry at the time when Gopal Krishna Maharaj left his body and uh, you know how Kalankar Maharaj left his body. So all of your presence makes my family complete and I'm very fortunate. I'm very, very, very grateful to Shri Prabhupada who has created all of you around everywhere to me so that I'm completely safe, completely under shelter, of, completely out of the shelter, always. So um, today on your birthday, I think the most biggest thing that Happiness, I can give it to you by glorifying Shri Prabhupada. So, Prabhupada, I am so grateful to you for giving me not only Shri Nadi, Vrindavan, Bhagavanath Puri, and also your wonderful devotees around the world. So, I am so grateful to you, Shri Prabhupada. Thank you so much, Prabhupada. Thank you. Eternally grateful to you. Eternally indebted to you. Vidhini Tariva Very good one. He wrote this on October 4th, so he says, Very soon this time, you will be conducting your Vyasa Puja celebration. I wanted to send a short note of appreciation for you and all your service. Of late, the strongest point of intersection I have with your service is through and that communication. In addition, the devotee community, for sure, I'm sorry, the devotee community for sure is benefiting as well as the body, mind, spirit retreats which are being conducted in multiple places on the globe. So those retreats happen in the US, but also in Singapore, and your about communication workshops are being presented by, um, by devotees there, actually. This is another avenue where the message, which fits Bhagavad Gita's message, 715, has the most practical application. Refinement of character and speech is certainly a necessity for one who is a Vaishnava. You have taken the time to understand this principle very carefully, and for that, I'm thankful and expressing my gratitude. Your servant, Roma Palasan. Yeah. Thank you very much. Anything from you? Um. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have a question. Yes. Um, 
my heart so much. I, I have such a, a strong desire to be of service and to have a meaning and purpose in my life. And you have given that to me by training me in this area of devoting relationships and family communication. You've given me a way to contribute back because I have such a calling to do that, feeling so grateful for what I'm receiving. So I'm so indebted to you for creating that out in my life to feel a purpose, to feel a value and contribution to the movement. And my desire is that your image uh, Pusha Tugubana, that by doing what I'm doing, that your glory are spread throughout the world. And I seek your blessing. Hare Krishna. a very, very important service. And uh, she attended some of my uh, family communication seminars at Gita Valerie. And then she's taken the ball and run with it at this particular point. She's teaching about the communication in China and other places around the world. Even last night, I understand you were up till midnight teaching a Chinese uh, family communication seminar. So thank you very much. Thank you so 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 much. And everywhere that I've gone uh, and I've seen you, I wanted to follow her because you will be the epitome in public communication. When we look at um, emotional service, it's not so much just slogans and philosophy, but it's that loving relationship, that loving connection to the world that keeps us here and keeps us inspired. Um, you also, I've known you for so many years, and throughout all that time, you didn't look upon us as being woman, man, black, white. You looked at us as spirit souls and you thought us to engage us in show public service and service in whatever way suited our own nature. Um, I'm just beginning to learn about public communication, but one of the things that strikes me is that ability to actually put yourself in another person's shoes. That when you listen to them, you're not listening through their eyes, through your eyes, but through their eyes. And that helps you to um, relate to them and find a way to engage them in Christian consciousness in the show of our So I just want to thank you for your association over all of these years. And I am very humbled by your presence and I'm just honored to call you my friend and my teacher. Thank you. Thank you a lot in the early days here. She built my original house, the cabin in the woods. And, and I actually used a chainsaw and actually cleared the whole land here. She's very, very talented, good devotee, and you know, I don't know how we can have Nuka Loka here without her.
Without them, it would get kind of lonely at the morning program. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Krishna. <laughs> Hare Krishna, you did. You say that on humble obeisances. All glories to Prabhupada. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you fine. Okay, excellent. So, um, I think that the thing that inspires me the most about you is how practical you are. I had the opportunity to very shortly help Raja Lila with the, the project of fixing the manuscript for your next book on empathic communication. Um, and I was just constantly blown away and surprised by how practical you are about it and how much you refuse to just, you know, play into whatever. Um, you just see very clearly through to the heart of the matter, what's most important, what's most practical for your disciples and all the devotees, and you can just feel your love for them and how much you have everyone's best interest in mind, um, which constantly keeps me inspired when I have um, harder times. I think that what New Goloka is and what you do is rather than kind of wanting to be popular or wanting to kind of go along with what everyone else does and get people who would easily become devotees naturally, um, your real service is going to find people who maybe wouldn't have become devotees under any other circumstance. And that's how I feel about myself, at least. I don't think it would have happened for me if I hadn't met you. So in Goloka, you create this community of people that you engage in Krishna service in this way that you might not find elsewhere. And that really allows a lot more people to take shelter of Godhead. I appreciate that very much. Thank you very much. Very inspiring. Spontaneous offerings actually add a lot. So, who's this? Oh, Jim or sannyasis that sometimes find children to be a nuisance. Um, I can say that I never felt that from you ever um, when attending the temple programs. Uh, we always felt welcome and uh, like we were really part of it. Um, and then after the class and the bhajan, uh, we would all gather outside and you would hand out sweets to all of us and crack jokes with us. And I remember you would always call me animal. 
because I have so much, my name is Amal, everyone would call me Amal, so you would add Animal, because I had so much energy, and you saw that energy and you would engage it, actually you would ask me if I would like to lead the Kirtans, the Tulsi Puja, the Guru Puja, so without that encouragement, I'm not sure I would be who I am today, so um, I'm very grateful. Uh, even actually that nickname, from that nickname, I started to be called Mammal. And, and, and when I was 14, I made my first Gmail address, mammalster at gmail.com. And it's still my official email address for all government everything. So, uh, so I'm always reminded of that first nickname you gave me and it engaged me in Krishna's service and it was very encouraging. So I'm very grateful. Um, that you have that that mood and that mentality of encouraging everyone no matter their size or age or anything like that and um, I just wanted to thank you um, on behalf of my father-in-law and mother-in-law Kamlesh Krishna and Gandharvika who are the CPO directors for ISKCON and I know I've heard that you have been a good ally in that regard so um, I'm thanking you that uh, you have made the children a priority here in Nuga Loka and around the world. Thank you very much, Mara. Thank you. I'm extremely proud of Aunt Kamala Harinam, who makes the pure chanting of the Holy Name, uh, who is actually <coughs> carrying out the pure chanting of the Holy Name and making the Holy Name famous all over the world. And you see my famous personality. Much more famous than me, obviously. I may take a little liberty to look just briefly that in order to. I have a situation called mild cognitive impairment, which gives me uh, the ability to do a constant flow. But most Notably, I've noticed ever you know, since I've known you for 50 years, your unparalleled Guru Nishra. Does everyone know what that means? It means love for Srila Prabhupada. And a mood of following him 10%. And how that opened up for me to see just the way you are and your, your, your strong attachment basically to sadhana. And by this process of sadhana, we know that all impurities and all uh, difficulties in life are subdued. And one can be fixed in pure devotional service. So uh, your um, devotion to Srila Prabhupada is exemplified so much in everything that you do, like Srila Prabhupada, and your strong attachment for his instructions, following his instructions very carefully, and in your developing of the 26 qualities of pure humility. And um, the, what I've seen here in your Goloka also is how devotees. Um, who are following the process and are your strict disciples are also coming up and becoming very pure devotees. And uh, I especially like your attachment. Of course, you yourself personally brought a lot of Golden Hunter from India and took such good care of them and had them worship properly you yourself sometimes worshiping them, cooking for them. And uh, I've only seen you get a little angry <laughs> at one recently, or a few weeks ago, you saw uh, myself and my uncle were chanting job in the temple room, and you noticed that the gate was, was not down, which is uh, protection for the deities. And I felt, um, your mood of and love for our global community that they be protected properly. So you were just a little bit angry. <laughs> and that um, 
was such a great example of your mood of protecting this, uh, the whole temple, actually. And uh, one of the things I've noticed ever since I've known you for 50 years is how you are so expert <laughs> in both dealing with the material energy and the spiritual energy. Meaning, how to build this temple which you did with your hands, your own hands, in a few buildings. And how you've taken the time and dedication to learn and study Shiva Prabhupada's books so that you invite them in your own life and you can speak from Shastra, you know, so many of Shiva Prabhupada's purports. So I feel very blessed to be here in this community and have your daily association. And I'm inviting all the devotees that do live here to please come and get Maharaj's association with the seeds and come to our wonderful morning program, which is short and sweet and works for most all working people. Thank you very much, Thank you. That love which you give, you give me because when I was married, and then hopefully you're getting that love now from your wife. You see, Maharaj is that humorous always. That's, that's kept me in the movement. And uh, we really had a good time. And I really enjoyed uh, your association always. And you kept, I mean, I can echo that how much you care for devotees to remain in the Prabhupada's movement. And without you today, I don't think I would be in the movement if you would not have served me when in New Orleans, you know, so, but after that, my first child was born, Darshan, and since then, if not many people know, here the world is now, Maharaj, still today, till today comes for my older son's birthday every year, and he's 25. So, for the last 26 years he's been coming since he was born. So, I really, really, really thank you for uh, giving my family the shelter and giving a lot of people your love. You have a special unique, uniqueness that uh, attracts everybody to you. It's just, I don't know, much to say, but uh, thank, thank for blessing my children, my wife, and again, you are the one who recommended her for the initiation and everything when I even didn't know I was going to get married. So when I went there, you had all those things. So everything was done by your blessings and your mercy. <laughs> so again, thank you very much. <laughs> I'll send it up, let, let someone else speak. You know. Oh, okay, let someone else go right after that. It's very rare to have um, the personal association of the guru. Um, many devotees only had like a moment's association with Prabhupada. And um, there's many devotees who only maybe see their guru maybe a few times in their life. But I was so fortunate to have daily association with you, Shogun. Um, sometimes hearing class from you almost every day, sometimes twice a day. Um, and we were uh, we were a very nice group of girls. Uh, raised in America, so not always so neat and subservient. But you encouraged our bold nature, and you encouraged us to uh, preach Krishna consciousness. And you had Mother Tulsi um, train us up in book distribution. 
we were going to the Raleigh Durham International Airport. We had a permitted spot, which was so nice. And we would put on our blue brick blazers and our white dress shirts. Um, and then armed with the books as our weapons, we felt like we were out of the matrix. <laughs> um, and you were so encouraging every day. You would announce our scores after the morning program and just, um, just encourage us like anything. And we'd have a marathon and sometimes you would encourage us to compete against each other and you would have a prize. One year you, you gave your own personal, I think it was a beautifully carved or shimmy ring. Wow. And Rumi Davy won and she got that ring. I think also one year um, you said that you wanted to give a prize to the be best book distributor and then everybody was saying, save your time, Juliet, save your time. But you were waiting for me for my response, and I knew that you wanted me to encourage someone else, and I said, Shampaka should get the prize. And so then you gave the prize to Shampaka. <laughs> um, and you were always encouraging of the youth to chant and become serious. And um, I remember you gave initiation to Amrita and Rade, the twin sisters, when they were 12. You gave initiation to Krishna when she was 13. I took initiation at 17, but a great to Chandra has us all beat. He took initiation <laughs> at age 10. Um, also, I got to travel and assist you in cooking on um, so many nice trips to um, Parikra and Mayapur and Vrindavan, and it was just um, so magical. Oh, we would go and visit the Goshal, and we would let the lick your head and say that we were visiting the, the mountains. Um, you were always very approachable and um, answer every email and now you like to um, us to keep in touch texting you on WhatsApp. So yeah. some, sometimes I would send like a photo of my DD dressing and then and you would send me a photo back. I would show the devotees in Boston. I was like, okay, I got What's that message from my guru day? But they're like, oh, you're so lucky. Your guru is so cool. <laughs> um, I was really impressed yesterday in the Bhagavatam class. I was hoping you were going to give class, but you enthusiastically and attentively attended one of the guru cool graduates' classes, Ratnaradhika. And I was just so impressed. Um, that here you are, like a GBC and guru, and you're attentively listening um, to one of the young girls, well, actually not so young anymore, <laughs> classes. But not only you, like all of the devotees, like so many Prabhupada disciples and senior devotees who are like twice your age, like everyone was so enthusiastically listening to her class, which was a very wonderful class, by the way. And um, just, how you set this mood of being very encouraging and taking seriously the service of the second and third generation. Um, you also are very tricky, and <laughs> we really liked your tricky side. Um, you were, just like when we were young, you were so involved, you would ask us what we were learning in school, and how our classes were going, and whenever there was a problem, we would be like, three days, three days. The teacher at the school, he told us that we have to have our snack outside because he wants to have a more opulent snack and not share. So we all had to have our snack outside. And so, but we knew that you would have the answer what to do. So you said, you just make an even more opulent snack than his. So my father was a very good cook. So, um, we got his help, and he was making like triple decker um, to to grilled tofu sandwiches, and they were like really huge and opulent. Um, and then another, so it was like several days of opulent snacks. So then another day, he brought in a tray of freshly made apple crisp with a whole bowl of fresh whipped cream. And I remember Mother Earl said, "Oh, have you brought a snack for all of the school?" He said, no, it's just for Amrita Rai and Krishna. <laughs> and so then, 
the teacher who could not make them sit outside and have their snack anymore because their snack was even more opulent than his. <laughs> but um, we would always like go to you for our different issues. <laughs> and even now, um, one time I was upset with the devotee and I like, called you and you were in India and you actually like responded and I was like, I told the devotee, I was like, I'm upset with you, I'm gonna tell my guru <laughs> And you like, you responded, but like actually every every like text message I get a response, like even though you have so many thousands of disciples and duties and um, I really appreciate that and um, Thank you for your association and I protected them from their teacher. <laughs> who is now traveling around the world. I'm sure they did. Do 
Oh, 
he is not uh, remembering any slokas. He is telling that you know Sanskrit is very difficult for me. <laughs> then Maharaj kind of you know nicely heard that and he said, okay, what what interests you? He goes baseball. Then Maharaj is like, okay, I am not that learned in baseball, but still, and then he started conversing with him and asked him a lot of questions and then asked him some player's name from France. And um, asked him that, okay, why don't you like Sanskrit? He's like, it's very tongue twisting. I like the English one. Then Maharaj asked, talking to him, and then said, uh, he can kind of immediately give him names, which were like really, really hard names. Then Maharaj goes, wherever you put your mind, I think you can do it. It's that you just don't want to do it. Then he's like, okay. Then I, I told him that so nicely, Maharaj kind of encouraged him without judging him. That oh, why not? Why? Like, you know, you're going after games and all. You know, Maharaj nicely, like, you know, empowered him. And then after that, we, every year we celebrate Adhashtami at our house. So I told him that, can you sing that song of Bibi Maharaj, Swami Maharaj? He goes, no, 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 it's difficult, no, you can do. Then I said, what did your Gurudev say? If you put your mind, you can do it. Just two days he practiced. And he was saying that, like, you know, so it's all your mercy, Maharaj. <laughs> <laughs> you can certainly remember anything. <laughs> These sports are so boring anyway. <laughs> Just a quick reminder, it looks like we've built a capacity now, so I think there's probably quite a lot of people that might want to say something. Right? Raise your hand. Who wants to say something? So we're going to start and try to go under two minutes. There's a challenge, under two minutes, okay? Or less. This is a real short one. Dear Guru Maharaj, please accept my respectful obeisances. I uh, just want to thank you very much for your kindness to me, uh, for letting me stay here, uh, and also initiating me. And I just want to know that it has helped me uh, a great deal. Thank you very much. Now you have to learn the Gini worship. You have a second initiation, so it's time. God helps those who help themselves. Sure. Thank you for accepting me as your disciple Maharaj. I lost my father very early in my life, Maharaj. So when I got when I got initiation, I thought I got my back my father. So I really want you to chastise me and, and if you hold my hand and drag me out of this world from my Maharaj. I know I'm a very, very difficult student, difficult kid. I know you have a very hard task in your hand, Maharaj. I don't know, I'm just so grateful, Maharaj. I have no words. I, I'm not such a good orator, I don't know what to speak. You are you are so great, Maharaj. I just want you to give me some service, Maharaj. I'm, I, I want to serve back to this institution. Give me some service, Maharaj, that's what my people and more and some Nam Nam which I know so far I'm just doing Nam Aparada. I just want some taste for chanting the holy name, Maharaj. Can you bless me with that also, Maharaj? And encourage me to read the Prabhupada scriptures as well, Maharaj. I, I'm so fallen, Maharaj. I need help at every step, Maharaj. You have to be literally like a father holds a girl's hand and drags her. You have to do that with me, Maharaj. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot for being, Maharaj. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you. <laughs> Just serve the temple here, the deities, and operate with the legal shop. Dude. I'm not here, Maharaj. She lives in New Jersey. Oh. Yeah, that's right. You live in New Jersey. Anyway. What's the closest temple? Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Oh. Philadelphia. Yeah, that's right. So, serve Phil in the Philadelphia temple. Nice dog.
Organize, organize the Yeah, work with the Pajaris there. <laughs> we'll the Thank you. So the last few weeks I've been meditating on the Asapusha celebration coming. And the one word that keeps coming to me is gratitude. Having gratitude. And I think how fortunate I am. Because I'm here, somehow other here, and the Dham, and I'm in this house, and this great devotee is in the house next to me. And it's up to me whether I take advantage of, of that association. So then I was thinking, how do you know somebody? And then I thought, well, the way to really know Shiva Guru Dave Krishna Goswami is to listen to Shiva Prabhupada more. So then I went back to the practice of making sure every day I listen to a class of Shiva Prabhupada like you do when you take care of your deeds, and also to listen to his violence. And I remember when I was young one time, and I had fallen in action. You told me you could even lament about this, or you could use this as a time to listen to Prabhupada, so at that time, to listen to all his classes. So as soon as I started listening a lot to Shiva Prabhupada, he was stressing, what is a spiritual master? And he said a spiritual master is one who follows the instructions of his spiritual master, takes them to the heart, doesn't change things, doesn't change the essential, and is, and is willing to give his mercy to everyone. And then he talked about, in different classes, tolerance and forgiveness. And so I was just meditating upon your root of tolerance, your enthusiasm, and then just being here like the, what's really inspiring is when I see so many of these people that I knew when they were young, and here they are now, and they're coming and being inspired by them, and then seeing the new, the new generation coming. And so just seeing how like from a small campfire this grew into such a, a tears up, like it just was like a month of this, it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger beyond our even understanding. And that's all coming by your your devotion and your when she was when he was singing about Radharani, then it all kind of came together because Radharani's they always saying that you go to the kitchen, you're being with Radha, and you always love being in the kitchen and you taught everybody like beyond the rituals of the daily ritual, cleanliness, austerity, punctuality, timeliness. They always stressed those points. And so I was feeling how important it is that like when people come to me and they want to know about Dini worship, it's not for me to teach them all the external things, but I always tell them you have to see that it's going through the spiritual master and what is his mood. So then I feel fortunate that I was here when you trained what was the mood that you wanted for Radha Balokananda, what was the legacy that you wanted, not anywhere else, but that, that simplicity, that purity of serving with devotion. And that serving by the Golokananda, because now the Golis, if you're here, everything's all set up. But I really felt the need to express, like, what you went through in the early days, you know, like the women of St. Tulsi, how you came and you were really having to walk through mud and wear plastic on your shoes to go in the bank, how you were living with no running water, how there was ice everywhere, and you just kept doing it. And no matter who came or didn't come, you always had a Sunday program. You cook, you yourself went to cook, and you feed everyone prasad, and then you go up and you give the class. And so that that example is so beautiful because prophets would say, one man should just go, he should do everything. So you taught that that need, like, yes, I can be on the altar, but I can also fix the deity's stairs. And you always said, don't leave a motive ignorance. Like if you see something is wrong, don't think it's someone else's problem to do yourself. 
So I don't want to take more time, but I just really wanted to say how much gratitude I have and what a wonderful example you've been for me. And that somehow or other, somehow or other you don't take me away. Um, you don't take me away. See, your kindness. It, I, I, I just draw between my teeth because Krishna always makes me remember, like, where did you find me, you know? But where was I when you first came to Miami? And when I went through the difficult times of childhood and Krishna consciousness, you were always there. You know, and your voice would always uplift me and think I am in the right way. So I, I'm eternally grateful to you. And please forgive me for any offenses. And I pray to you some, some use. She lived right next to the deities 24 7. That's how dedicated she was. In a little room of music has an AV room right now. She lived there. I'm thinking, I also was just barely over 19 when I was 
um, and I was here at the Davies Grand 10th Anniversary um, inauguration on the last night. And a lot has changed since then and so much hasn't. But what I was thinking is that this year, Krishna has really been bringing it home to me to see how those who are in a generation before me are aging. And all of a sudden, it's like I'm going to be the adult in the room. That's really scary because I don't at all feel qualified. I was just used to like being like the young one everyone would take care of, I just chance and you know, go along and do a little sense gratification stuff back, you know, but now I'm thinking what will happen in the Kalapas movement. Now I'm I'm Mataji and I have to become qualified somehow. And I just recently had the opportunity to visit um, the temple in Honolulu. And there's a lovely devotee there, um Swami Via Ashram. Uh, such a nice devotee and I appreciate I looked at him and appreciated my time there and he wrote back a lot of like verification of me and I was so confused because I thought I feel really like you know in Maya <laughs> and so I was so confused but then I just realized when I was here that oh he's actually seeing you through me because even if I don't see the right thing I know what the right thing is because I've heard from you so many times, like all of the classes, I feel like I have a very strong foundation of what we probably want, what is Prabhupada's mood, what is your mood. So now I have to just make my actions align with what I know, which is the process. Um, <laughs> and, um, and so I, please help me in that, so that I can actually become a student to you. I think we should ask the question because the dish is going to have to leave pretty soon. Why don't we be in 10 minutes of this reading book for you? Okay. Is it, in a second, I want to take a Gayatri break. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe after this offering. Okay. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Guru Dev. He said that my number of business to your Lord's feet. All those who say the Prabhupada. Happy 70th platform. That's a golden. Happy to do it. And uh, since we have a time cap, I'll go quickly do it uh, in three minutes. Like that. So do it. Uh, first of all, uh, we are so thankful to you to accept us as your disciple. We thought we are fallen. We are fallen. We, we are not eligible to like, there. So we really thank from the bottom of our heart. I have uh, some glimpse in my mind which I would like to share with you. Like on the last Janmashtri when I uh, expressed my desire, like you know, we would like to have the DD installation at our home. And we accepted that invite, but you also mentioned one liner to, to me, which you said, you need to get clean first. And I was looking at my kurta, or like, I don't know, what is wrong that I need to get clean? Which was later decoded by Aditya and Rogu Nila Shakti Mata, you are getting in shape. So first of all, thank you Gurudev for that. And uh, thank you for giving the service of uh, working on the Jagannatha. I'm trying my best what I can. There are hurdles, but with your uh, blessings, I'm sure we will be there soon. And uh, Guru, on the initiation, you mentioned like four regulatory principles. One of them is doing a 16 round chanting. And uh, just a linking, like, on 2018, I lost my father. And when I lost my father, like, you know, he used to greet me with bringing a cake, feeding me with that cake. And since then, like, you know, I, I was always missing that. This year in the month of June, I expressed my desire to you. He came to my home, cut the cake, feed, feed me the cake through there. And I am very happy about that. Krishna is there, Guru is there, he is listening, and there you are. You are my spiritual father. Thank you, Guru. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Whenever like, your father gets sick, right, you feel bad, right? You, know, you feel like hurt. So whenever I hear about like, you know, Guru is sick, Guru is at COVID, right? So you want to do something, but what you can, you don't know. And you give us always a mantra of chanting. So today on 17th, I want to take another pledge that uh, we do 16 rounds of chanting, but on every Vyasthuja on 75th today, before evening, and every Vyasthuja, every day, I want to do 16 more. 32 for your health. Good Namaste, 
Hare Krishna Gurudev, this is Sanna Mahaprabhu, this is the Sanna Mahaprabhu speak. Then I pronounce to all the Sanna Vaishnavas and uh, my pronounce to uh, the most merciful uh, TDs, Shishirala Gurudev. I would like to start uh, just by accepting this that how fallen I am. I do not deserve uh, to be here among the old Vaishnavas and where you have brought us today. All the time, through these so many years, we were just busy into living our own world, finding means to live our own existence, living in lust, anger, pride, and whatnot. But here you are, Gurudev, and you accepted us as your disciple. This is the most I should say, the, the worthy that we are not of, that you have given us as a blessing. I lost my father when I was just three years old. And I never complain, Krishna, but I always have desire, like you know, when I see people celebrating their birthdays, celebrating their special days, their winnings, their losses uh, with, their, with their father. My mom worked there and I just to give us love of both father and mother. But I always have that desire that when, I, why I never get to see my father, uh, you know, as soon as I get into my own senses. But here is Radha Gurukalan who always who listened to my uh, you know uh, my this desire and he gave me a father in your form and you are so compassionate, so kind. I still recollect like when I did my first Guru Mandana for you, uh, I out of anxiety and out of anxiousness I just missed one line and it didn't make you mad or uh, you know angry at me and you just might say uh, you missed one line but that's okay continue carry on thank you Gurudev for uh, for you know for giving us these mistakes which should have not been forgiven and there are a lot of other things that I would like to highlight here like uh, Gurudev you gave us the uh, by installing the Shri Shri Merciful one at our home not general TDs and just two weeks back I got my Brahmanical initiation I can't be thankful enough. I, I should say words words fall short when I say that I get a chance, uh, you know, to reconnect to Krishna, spending time on my Gayatri three times a day. And I also would like to thank you, uh, you know, whenever I used to come uh, for the darshan of uh, Radha Golokanath, I always have a desire, how how can I serve them? And when will I get that qualified to get it, uh, fulfill that desire? And today you have, you know, you fulfill that desire for us. The day of our initiation, you make us, you know, uh, enter your ashram, you make us sit next close to you and how nicely and you know, like a father you explain all the rules, regulations. So we are really thankful to for everything that you have done for us through there. And we really desire to serve you to our best uh, abilities and please forgive us for any mistakes that we have done. Please bless us that maybe, uh, you know, to our chanting with more taste, maybe the uh, Srila Prabhupada's books every day and maybe be in line with the, uh, with Acharyas and Gurjana. Thank you, Guru. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So before we leave, Aditya and Ratna are going to just um, say something and then we'll chant back to you. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. I have to go into Sri Books. Yes. To fulfill Sri Prabhupada's desire. Very. Without a ditch here, I don't know how things would go on. Great organizer, great preacher. As well. um, yeah, yeah, it's your right there. It's, <coughs> I mean, how would you mask me? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Hare Krishna Maharaj, I am Mr. Kanayi, Krishna Krishna, I am Mr. 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 Hare Krishna Maharaj, uh, happy 75th Vyas Puja. I want to just reflect on uh, last weekend we had uh, a traveling preacher, Rajvihari uh, Prabhu was here. And I'm just giving this example, but this is the same with all the traveling preachers. And he came to our community, he just saw the devotees, and he said, this is one of the best communities. I've traveled all over the US, all over uh, Australia, Europe, but this is one of the best communities I've seen. And he said, like, anytime, just text me, I would love to come back to this community and be with the devotees here. The mood in the community, everyone is so sincere, and, you know, there is no, like, politics and toxic atmosphere, and everyone is so, you know, inclined to Krishna consciousness and really from the heart. And when he was saying this, I was thinking all the credit goes to, I mentioned to Prabhu also, 
All the credit is actually due to Maharaj. Maharaj is here. He is actually the foundation of this community and he set the entire mood in the entire community that this community is loved by everyone. So all glories to you Maharaj for this and we are so fortunate to be a part of this glorious community. It's just like our greatest fortune that somehow we have come to this community where you are a spiritual leader. So thank you so much Maharaj for that and also I uh, want to thank you for the opportunity to serve your New Goloka Dham and uh, I beg to you to please empower me that I can continue and grow in the services and uh, and please forgive me for any mistake because I can you know, jump around so please forgive me for all my mistakes and please uh, empower me so I can please you with all the services. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. The community is that everybody is serving to the problem and we're all the same family. It, it, in one sense, it really doesn't matter who our initiating guru is, we're all working for Prabhupada. I, mean, I don't see the difference between my disciples and other people's disciples. I mean, we connect with Prabhupada. We're brothers and sisters and aunts and uncles or whatever. <laughs> Um, I just want to say thank you so much. Um, actually, I feel that you have been the foundation for um, you know, all the spiritual found, uh, strength that I've had is coming from you. Because since childhood, you are the one I would listen to every day. And your classes have um, set the foundation for my spiritual life. And like Sankta Khan was saying, um, it's incredible. Like The first time that I was going to speak, um, and then I saw you were there, I was like shocked, how come you're going to be sitting there while I'm speaking, it just didn't seem right, but um, you just, I, what, what I'm doing now is when, when you're there and I'm speaking, I just think that you're just giving me blessings and you're just helping me by giving me this chance to purify myself and to learn, so I just feel that you're just pouring your blessings on me while I'm speaking, so I'm just so grateful to you for um, giving us this chance to grow in our spiritual lives, not only teaching us, but also watching us grow and seeing our mistakes and, and guiding us. So thank you so much. And also I just want to say thank you for um, being such a shiksha guru for us um, as you know, our Rumar left. But um, I, I feel that, um, that you've been such a support for us and so loving, kind to us and encouraging us. So, um, and I never felt that, you know, that that loss because, you know, your support has always been there. And I just have fond memories of seeing you and Arjun Maharaj here in this temple, having such sweet exchanges together, running around Tulsi Devi together, trying to touch each other's feet, trying to get each other's revenants, and that <laughs> best, best friends. And just seeing that, like, growing up was such an impact for us, to see that loving relationship between God brothers. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Can we just offer our Badra Purnima Bhagavatam store to you? Yeah. Krishna. So, uh, just want to mention that you know, every year we have this Badra campaign where we take a goal to distribution of Bhagavatam. And it's normally just before Janmashtami. And every year when we do it, it's almost like how will we ever meet our goal? Like this year Janmashtami also, we are like, we have to really focus, do Bhagavatam for the pleasure of Omara, for the pleasure of Europa. And Janmashtami is good. We did maybe like 15 sets on Janmashtami, 15 Bhagavatam sets. But our goal was 150 sets. So it was like, how are we going to reach? And we had three months, oh sorry, three weeks to Badra Purnima. Three weeks and we had over 125 sets to meet our goal. So it was almost every time we had this campaign, we just pray, pray to Maharaj, pray to Prabhupada, pray to Gornita, Radha Gurukhananda, please do a miracle. How will we actually accomplish that goal? And it's so nice. Uh, Everyone in this community, I would say this year, 
unlike any other year, we had participation from so many families. Every family came, they contributed, they took a set, reached out to the friends, and the whole community came together Maharaj, for this part of the campus. So for the pleasure of Srila Prabhupada, for the pleasure of his his own So our goal was 150 sets, and as I said, it was very, very difficult. We were praying, and for the pleasure of Maharaj, we would like to offer our Bhadra campaign score. We did 188 Srimad Everything is just by your inspiration. We always turn to you and Maharaj. Please, uh, please continue to bless us and continue your contribution. And please be with us. I need Prabhupada to shower in his blessings upon you for this. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Five minutes. Chant Gayatri. For those who chant Gayatri, take a Gayatri break. And also, we just put some tangerines and some almond flour cookies if any of the children or anybody needs something for the blood sugar. Please um, take some time. Five minutes. Take for some five minutes. And then after that, we're going to do the rapid fire round of offerings. Get ready. Um, a uh, lot of faith in you, basically the, the compassion you showered on us to practice Krishna Bhakti is enormous. And uh, I used to come for the morning prayers, like, right from uh, 2001 or so I did that. And uh, I really got inspiration from that Bhakti and also your offerings you do for the Radha Gaurakaranda. Each morning the effort you take and uh, you show compassion and uh, uh, everything on us to show the same Bhakti to us. Krishna, thank you so much Maharaj. I wish Outside of these walls, so many people who make so many outrageous claims, and um, and how you just taught this knowledge um, from the Bhagavatam that just cuts through all of that. That I have everything that I need, and that you've taught me that Shiva Prabhupada has given us everything. And so I don't have to worry about anything when I go out. It's just like there's no other philosophy or anything that I need to listen to. It's just like 
you know, here are the classes, read Sri Prabhupada's books, associates with the devotees, and like-minded and sincere devotees, and, then, and that's enough. But you taught me that, and you gave me that example, and you gave me that example of your self-discipline and being expert at what you do. And then the last thing is just this, just this magnanimous just empathy and love that you have for devotees, and that makes the person parts so real because you have been a real part of my life. Um, and, and it's always backed by your action. It's not a matter of just words. Like you have always been there. And I think, I think what Echo a singer song said about that, you just so reliable, just so dependable, just so expert, just so just in a word, everything. So I just thank you, and I'm giving us the shelter. And and a tiny dream picture um, on it is Radha and Krishna, and the sun, and the sun is smiling, and the sun is a devotee, and the sun has tilak. And what else about the picture? And then she drew the planets. Oh. And so we were lucky. But our love is here for you. And so that, and the piney, and Gary Raj, and, and he's, it has and the jewels on it. She wants to say, so thank you. 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 Thank um, I, I wanted to thank you for creating this beautiful and sweet spiritual family here in Nukaloka. It's everything I've ever dreamed about as a child, wanting a big family like this. And it's just, uh, it's brought such meaning and fulfillment to my life that it's, it's just brought so much peace. And it's helped me move forward in my spiritual life more than ever before. And I just want to show my appreciation for you and let you know there's no words that are enough to express my gratitude. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. that you want Krishna give you at least 50 more generation of Yasa Pusha. <laughs> uh, thank you for being who you are, because even you know, thinking about your personality makes somebody happy and peaceful. And sometimes people say, oh, my courage goes out of his way, like he visits us, uh, you so much. And I said, of course, because we kind of feel like our outside this, and Makash makes sure, you know, our Krishna consciousness is good, and you know, we are like uh, progressing nicely. Since the first day, uh, day I came here, I just felt, felt your uh, support and love, and I felt immediate uh, attraction to your Krishna Kata, how you, you know, give the classes, and also when you come to our home, whenever I ask you some question philosophical, you answer in that way that I immediately becomes clear to me and I remember it forever. Uh, whenever you visit, you are uh, transforming our small home into a holy dam. And uh, thank you so much for uh, like, uh, creating this most wonderful community, which is actually family. My family is in the other part of the world, in Europe, biological family, but actually my real family is, is this, you and the devotees, and everybody is so sweet and kind and caring and loving, and this only comes from you. So thank you for being who you are. Let Krishna give you very long life, excellent health. I pray for that every single day. Please bless us to continue with our, our spiritual life, to become better devotees, Please forgive us any offenses if we've ever done to your lotus feet. And thank you so much for your love and support. And you are wonderful care for us. Haribo.
Everybody has said the same, so we, we can just go to on this, but, you know, for this wonderful community and your presence in this wonderful community. Um, it is, uh, you, you are an inspiration every morning to, for us to, or motivation for us to get up and come for Mangalati, because it's like, if Maharaj can do it, why can't we at least make it? My goal eventually is to maybe make it to the temple room before you do, but <laughs> <laughs> you, you are punctual and you are there and in spite of coming only like two minutes and I'm always late but I try to get there. Uh, but thank you for that and thank you very much. Also also Maharaj, um, thank you for engaging us in Srila Prabhupada's service and uh, your blessings, Shri Prabhupada's blessing, and Shri Chirala Golokananda. They will get a new home sometime soon. <laughs> so please continue to engage us in, in your service and uh, Prabhupada's service. And uh, Maharaj, this is just something I wanted to uh, express. I don't think I did that. Uh, it was very touching for us. Very touching for us to receive a call from you in India when Guru Maharaj left us. It meant a lot that you took the time and called us. Thank you. And I wrote you an email and instead of chiding me, instead of making me feel guilty 
Steve or you know bad in some way, you guided me, you helped me understand how to connect with her. And since then my life has changed. You know, I, I the way I see Srimati Radharani has completely changed. The way I approach chanting has completely changed. And you have given me guidance how to be a better mother. I have written more than one email trying to justify my anger towards my kids. <laughs> And you have consistently, patiently, compassionately guided me. And just by an example of how you guided me, I was able to understand how I need to guide my children. And that itself was more than any book or any course or anything could have ever brought me from an internal sense of realization. And I'm very grateful to you for that. Thank you so much, Guru for appearing in our lives. Thank you so much. Donna Fair needs to leads to read what she wrote. Keep it short. Okay. Dear good day, my spiritual father. For it is that my humble bit is allow her to show Papa. God for it is allow her to show Papa. I am so very fortunate to have the opportunity to be here on your most auspicious celebration of your appearance today. Your continued guidance, love, and shelter keeps me always encouraged and inspired to be more and more focused on my service to you and our Lord. Please forgive me for any offenses I may or might have made unknowingly in my thoughts or actions to you or anyone else. Although I have my own physical issues, I am sick and happy in my soul, both in the kitchen and online. Thank you for your willingness to accept me as I am, regardless of, regardless of my circumstances. I appreciate and admire your tolerance, love, understanding, your guidance, your steadiness, and your never-ending focus on the goal and spiritual life, as well as not only your own physical health, but also the health, both physical, emotional, and mental health of others as well. In my own journey, I have learned how important it is for all these to work together and the necessity to keep in a positive mindset to stay steady and move forward. That being said, I am truly blessed to have you as such a caring father that has took responsibility of taking me under your shelter that shows by your example true dedication and devotion <coughs> to devotional service. My prayer is the Lord will keep you safe in your journeys wherever they may take you, showering with good help, and to be always in his love and service. Thanks for all your love and care and providing me shelter, my dear Father, and surrounding me with loving brothers and sisters who care about me and I about them. That being said, Happy Appearance Day. Love your summer daughter and so much summer of prayer. Reminder, short and sweet and also nothing written. That was an exception. <laughs> I have learned from my from the scriptures that you know uh, Guru is the transparent medium of Lord Krishna. But now I'm really seeing that in practically seeing that in my day-to-day -day life. Thank you so much for bringing this holy Nam, Krishna West, VKZ Academy, so many to us. And then just like Krishna reciprocates personally to each and every disciple, you are also personally reciprocating to us. Uh, and thanks so much for being so compassionate. And uh, I pray to the Lord of Sita, Sri Radha Lokananda, and beg him from the bottom of my heart to keep you very happy and prosperous with healthy life so that you can enlighten so many other fallen souls like me. 
Let me invite a small drop of your own of service so that I can wait and a lot of speaker your service and your presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I think it's going to be there. Mm -hmm. Please accept my individual differences. Mm -hmm. um, Gurudev, thank you so much uh, for building this uh, wonderful environment for all of us. Uh, we are getting uh, so much benefit. Uh, we went through so many austerities like uh, Srila Prabhupada uh, and all the disciples of Srila Prabhupada. Went through so many struggles. Uh, I was reading, uh, I read uh, Srila Prabhupada Lilambu, like uh, how devotees of Srila Prabhupada uh, went through so many, so many struggles. Um, and uh, so now we are enjoying the fruits of uh, the austerities, all the struggles uh, Srila Prabhupada and uh, the disciples of Srila Prabhupada went through. And uh, uh, we are getting so much benefit. Um, I have seen, like, uh, 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 especially my family life, we were, uh, how our life transformed, and uh, how much uh, we are involving our children uh, in Krishna consciousness. Now um, they, are, they are correcting us uh, <laughs> in many ways. So thank you so much um, for all the, uh, for all the uh, things that you have given to us. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for uh, accepting us. Uh, we are least qualified uh, to be your disciples. Thank you so much for uh, all the compassion that you have shown to us. Thank you so much. So please bless us so that we can continue in uh, expanding the world for the moment. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Hare Krishna Guru. Happy birthday. I am so glad to be present at this very amazing milestone of 75 years of your Vyasa Puja. So, I really am very grateful to our dear most Srila Prabhupada that he has, he is a Mahabhagavat and he has created many Mahabhagavats like you. And you are distributing this knowledge of Srimad Bhagavatam to everybody, and uh, which is a saving for this in this Kali Yuga. So, as Sri Nantamdas Thakur said that, if you don't worship Radha Krishna, we are knowingly drinking poison. So, you have mercifully invited Radha Krishna to this area, this part of this world, and engaging every one of us so mercifully and giving us a nectar, nectar to live eternally and uh, reject the poison of not worshipping Radha Krishna. I am very grateful to you, Guru Devi, that for the past 40 years, the, what you have started is still continuing and I pray, I pray that this continues for the next 10,000 years and many, many can get, um, take advantage of this, of worshipping Radha Krishna and drink eternal nectar of their praying. Thank you so much Gurudev and uh, I am, I really wish that I want to celebrate 100th milestone with you in person here. Happy Sunday uh, birthday. Uh, just on behalf of our family, uh, myself, uh, and Dani, and Dorothy, uh, we will wish you all the best of the future as we uh, did this set. More years to come, and uh, we are very happy to be part of this congregation. And I missed the congregation for a short time, but I'll be happy to be back. You will be back. We will be back soon, hopefully. We have a job in the area now. Um, not in this area, still there. <laughs> so. Maybe yeah. it's for a bit. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you move back soon. Namo Mr. Padai Krishna Prasthaya Putra Srimati Vir Krishna Goswami Kinani Namo Amsanika Saya Prabhupada Piyayate Subhita Suti Mr. Kim Krasya Vakya Nivani Hare Krishna Vidupana Vidya 
First of all, I would like to say happy Vyas Puja Shila Gudev. Please accept my humble obeisances and we will not to speak. And um, I found it uh, to be very uh, flexible, very approachable and uh, very health conscious. I guess uh, you are the most health conscious uh, Guru Maharaj that we all have ever met. And uh, thank you for the health tips that you gave me. Um, <coughs> Tips on a healthy diet plan, and that helped me lose uh, 32 pounds, and uh, now I feel much better. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to share that to all my god brothers and god sisters, so that uh, they can come onto their uh, ideal weight and maintain a healthy Krishna conscious diet. And stay healthy and Krishna conscious. I'm not going to name anyone, otherwise I'll get it afterwards. <laughs> Lastly, I would like to. Uh, Wish you a very, very long, healthy and happy Krishna conscious life. And uh, my cross 150, so 75 is just half of that. It's just a, it's just a start of the age. You have a very, very long way to go. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Maharaj. of devotional service. Anybody who is willing to serve in whatever capacity is, is welcome to come and serve the Sri Sri and serve all the devotees in the Vaishnavas here. It's a wonderful um, environment that we don't get to see in all, in all of the communities. So this actually is one of those communities that I've seen that actually has that. And I can see that all the devotees here, we have such an outpouring of love and affection for you again. This also speaks to the, the, uh, the love and affection and compassion that you actually have shown for all of us. So this is, you know, a reciprocation of what's going on. One thing I was thinking about spontaneously as I'm talking right now, it's been a while for us that we have heard some of your budgets, I think from Ramayana, like Hanuman, and some of the other ones. <laughs> so, I hope and pray one of these days we get to hear some of those budgets. So, on this day, Maharaj, uh, is my humble uh, prayer that uh, please bless us, guide us, and uh, keep us always on their agenda. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. I would like to please accept my respectful obeisances. Um, I wanted to, just a couple of things. Um, I wanted to expand on what um, Amal Varyan was talking about in the context of your tolerance of the children and acceptance of them and expand that to everyone because you tolerate your tolerance is for, um, for everyone. Uh, it, it's just, I mean, your acceptance and your willingness to uh, accept our faults no matter what and then try to find, you know, what's inside of us and get us to express that connect with Krishna um, is what's one of the things that's most endearing to you. Um, the other thing that I've really been thinking about, especially in the context of um, today's uh, atmosphere globally, is how equal poised and balanced you are. And what comes to mind is liberal versus conservative, conservative versus liberal, and how balanced you are in both aspects of um, applying time, place, and circumstance you know, according to what's best for the individual, what's best for the movement, what's, you know, best for relationships. And so then, as I was thinking about this, the thing that came to mind is I see you crawling in or, you know, climbing in to everybody's devotional tree. And as they're picking at these fruits of material existence instead of looking at Krishna, you're up in the tree going, 
Krishna's over here. Krishna's over here. And, you know, redirecting everybody, using your humor, you know, whatever means you can to connect that soul's um, life purpose back to Krishna. And, and I just, somehow I could just see you up there, and of course my sense of humor and works in cartoons, so I won't go into that too much, but, you know, just thinking about, you know, you use whatever, utilize whatever means you can. Um, and just to kind of give another example, because you were giving a, and then I'll tie it up, you were giving a lecture recently, um, and one of the things that came up was um, Amrish Maharaj fasting for 40 days, coming to the point where he needed to break that fast, not wanting to anger Durvasabhumi, because nobody wants to anger Durvasabhumi, but, and so he was given the instruction to break with water because that didn't break the fast, but it also broke the fast. And to me, that exemplifies who you are as a person devotional in your application of liberal, conservative, whatever's right for every you know individual. That's an application that's you know it's just a sample, an example of how balanced and equal points you are as a person. So I'm just truly grateful to have uh, your guidance because it's the, as far as I'm concerned, it's the safest place to be. So thank you. Please accept my obeisances. <clears throat> when I came here, I was very young. It's hard to believe that was 70 years ago. 70 years ago? You're only five years old at that time. <laughs> no, no, seriously, no, you used to joke me a lot for being old, so no, that was a little bit of a joke, a of a joke there, technically. So, um, you, um, like Raghunath was saying, that you're one of the only sannyasis leaders, gurus, who watches their health uh, very closely. So, uh, uh, so thank you for um, for keeping a good diet and putting out videos like "Stop Killing the Devotees." <laughs> and thank you for uh, teaching empathic communication. And thank you for your instructions uh, that have allowed me in this past year to, after 30 years, to get up a little bit earlier, slightly earlier. And um, so uh, thank you very much. Always. The Dragon Guru is great to look fortunate to have in the years. Last of the Brahmacharyas. <laughs> Endangered species. Personally, they're very kind and merciful and patient with me. 
Francis Maharaj. You are the, I'm very grateful that you are letting me do the services here and your guidance, the personal guidance is so valuable. I was thinking Maharaj, when I get the guidance from you every now and then, I think of all the devotees who constantly get the guidance from you. Very, very helpful Maharaj. Setting such an example, very deep purpose and uh, kind. Um, so your example speaks so much for all of us, Maharaj. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you for giving me the community I have. In this uh, community, there are so many people, not only I look up to, but I was talking to a few of the younger youth um, in the reading call where we were reading Nectar of Devotion, and we were talking about who inspires us. And I was not noticing that many of the names you were mentioning were, one was um, you, uh, yourself, and then many of your disciples. And so, um, noticing the community around me coming from various backgrounds, yet all of us come together with such a common purpose to love Krishna. It, it takes such a strong leader who's empathic, encouraging, to get so many people from such a backgrounds together in one place. So thank you for being that leader, inspiration for uh, not only me, but also the younger kids. And also I was remembering last week when the Prihana Pulu came, he was saying that remembering isn't just a coincidence, and um, when I see myself with, though I've grown up in Krishna consciousness, I was lucky to have that opportunity. Every devotee has their own um, coming to Krishna consciousness story. And I build my own when I remember Krishna and um, my difficult times in day to day life. I know it's not just me remembering, I know it's Krishna and uh, really tapping me on the shoulder and helping me. I create my story to come into Krishna consciousness. So thank you for um, helping me write that story and I hope that I can be a good rep representation as a disciple for you in the future and bring many others close to Krishna. And please let me serve you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Please accept my respectful obeisances. So it's often that um, I see you like, on the way to temple. You're always briskly walking with uh, always chanting, and you be back, always on a mission. And I'm sure that mission is to serve you a group. So hopefully I can make my humble attempt to uh, walk with purpose, take each step with purpose, and offer each one of my steps to have to be to you, uh, to Guru Prabhupada, to Srila Prabhupada, and to Sri Sri Radha Guru Prabhupada. So you all are pleased with my activities. And um, personally, I have seen you interact with all the devotees in the congregation, beyond the congregation, with so much gracefulness and empathy. And I come to believe that's because you've mastered interacting with the little Krishna in all of us and nourishing that Krishna in all of us. So I wish to report back to you next year, um, making my best humble attempt at um, interacting with and nourishing the little Krishna and all of us so that you know, my Krishna is pleased with me and you're pleased with me greatly. And thank you so much for always supporting me in my weekly attempts at service and stabilizing me as I wobble in my bhakti path. And uh, happy 75th Yasuji in your name. And I pray for my little Krishna for your uh, long, healthy life so that you can continue to. Um, Stabilize me, my family, and our loving my family. I'm so grateful. You said it all the time.
our little basic system of what is fate. Uh, we heard a lot about, about community, and community is nothing because of you only because of community. We are everybody attested actually very, very, very well that how this community is has come about it is all new behind this. And when I see all this actually that one thing comes to my mind that actually your practical approach to everything, easy accessibility or humor and care, loving care of everyone, every individual uh, is very unique. And then through that I read Lila Mirtha, but I cannot see, visualize, but when I see your activity, your behavior, your daily operation, actually you represent Prabhupada perfectly well, I can see visually. So that's, uh, that, that's who you are. And I can see one thing, the few things I want to come to my mind, that Prabhupada actually talked about that uh, deity worship is not very important for mothers, especially you take care of children because she, it is Chris, they are Krishna children and exactly that's what you have done because you very 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 focused way single pointed you serve your guru so I, I see that so what you did you built a school I thought about a long time but now on and off I discussed with you about this great news because ultimately when Prabhupada says Krishna children and they are the future of every society, the material society. And you build this school for their growth, their well-being, and they are protected. So that's one thing I see Prabhupada, actually you, I see Prabhupada through you for that. And community, your smile, your humor, your activity are really, is very infectious. And that's how Prabhupada made many disciples. You all came to him because his presence won. Although he, he had great accent, I'm sure it was difficult to understand as I can see myself, but very, very infectious when purity is there, no language required, and uh, that's who you are. Anyone comes close to you, I have experienced it over 30 years, observed, and that's what I have seen. So that's the person you are behind each and every individual here, and having built that, you also Take care of every part, every individual in the community, not only children, only the top priority, but also you build the temple because deities have to be served, devotees have to learn to serve, and your devote, your dedication, the way you serve the deities is Radha Bolokananda. They are they are smile, also very, very they are very attractive, very catchy because I have seen anyone comes to this new Boloka community. Only once for the first time they got to come again and again. And I'm talking about anyone coming here and seeing the community, see Radha Golokananda, Sri Giriraj, they say, Yeah, I can I will come if I'm invited or not, I'm going to come, whether they are coming from international uh, visitor to hear a speaker or national speaker. So that's who you are. And uh, about a lot of things to be said. And not much time, so I want to this very quickly. One thing, when my Guru Maharaj passed away, I was in Canada, and you are the first one. How much you care wherever you are, you are very busy with GBC, you are in Australian New Zealand trip, but you called me there, it was so much comforting, and you said that you are here for me. Uh, it, it, it says something very personal, very deep. Uh, it cannot be expressed uh, in words. That's, uh, that's who you are. And, all we have seen here, how much you care about every individual, and that is a proof. Any, any visitor coming here, they want to come visit Radha you again and again. This is this is this is your uh, this is your activity. This is your behavior. You exhibit practically a practical person. Time, place, circumstance you apply, and this is appreciated by everyone. That's what we all can see here. So. And again I pray that you stay healthy so that I am selfish, we all are selfish here because we need your guidance, your care and enhancement of this facility, this new Radham to highest level in Iskand. I like to see that until, until I left. So that's what's going to happen. I have so much faith and with that 
I pray to Sri Radha Kolokal Sikiri Raj and Narsingh Bhagwan so that you stay strong and you can enjoy your association. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. First of all, I'd like to thank you so much for accepting me as your disciple and connecting me to the Gauri Vaishnav Sampradaya. I'm eternally grateful for that. And I'd also like to thank you so much for tolerating my Ganga plane during Jirada Nada and I'm still beginning to still learning. But uh, one thing I wanted to uh, say was that uh, I'm very grateful that uh, through you, you have given me the proper access for chanting the Holy Name. And uh, one example I can give is that a couple of weeks ago, uh, when usually on Sunday feast when we do Jairala Mada, uh, after there's not much kirtan or very little. And, they, and then somehow or the other we decided to sing like 10 minutes of kirtan. And that was the best uh, chanting Hare Krishna I've ever heard in my entire life. Even you know one drop of that love of the holy name that you have, I feel my life is perfectly well. Please bless me that I can stay in your service and continue chanting the holy names with strong conviction like you did. Thank you. What can I say? So many of us have heard. They said so many, so many nice things about you. You're here every day, and as the Lord just said that you're always on a mission. You're always such an inspiration for all of us, and you're a role model for me and for so many people here. And uh, forgive me if I say anything wrong, but like in our Gen Z language, we call people like top G's, and I feel like <laughs> you you are one of those great representations. You're always here great inspiration for all of us. And I really hope that you will um, bless me so that I can always play, play very nicely and shine and be in the service of other people. And thank you for accepting me in your service. Hare Krishna. In essence, you are my past friend. 
Without your acceptance as your disciple, I would be lost. This small destitute jiva, a fallen soul, was transformed into a human, human being through your initiation. Like a mother, you possess no desires for yourself. You give selflessly. Your blessings bestowed without regard to my qualification are beyond my imagination. On this sacred day of Yas Puja, I offer my deepest gratitude, Gurudev, once again. Koti Koti Pranam for always being with me. Yours ever servant, Surangi Devina. Uh, I never best to keep this as short as possible. And I just want to express my full gratitude on giving me a taste of what we are all aspiring for. That's Krishna name. This is the love for Krishna. And you can't have a higher taste without just knowing what it is, knowing what you you can't go for a without a You gave me so much love. So much love that you made me realize that oh what Krishna fame could be like. Little interactions, like you know, giving me a quote while my father was driving me to Sharada chapter many years ago. I felt, you know, nine, nine, ten year old, yeah, I forget how old I was, but I, I was like, I have to guard this quote. There was nobody in the park, you know, just me. But I have to guard this quote, it's good news. It was just my father, you and me, but I felt like I was on a mission to guard that quote. And, or just on the temple stairs, you asked me, that okay, you're learning Sanskrit? Uh, tell me that. I like your computer. Say that in Sanskrit. <laughs> I, had, I, I had learned. I had learned that before. Yeah, I was really learning. And I was ready. But then looking at you, I forgot everything. But then I again brought, brought up. Uh, I, I went through the table in my head. I said, my young, which means like me. I won't go into the rules of my young. My young. But I asked, what is computer? You said, just with young. So I said, your yantra. So tava yantra, lojate. Mahim, tava yantra, lojate. And you were so happy. We just had one sentence that I said. And just, just so much love. I, I, I have no words to describe how, how lucky, fortunate. These words don't do justice. Thank you so much, Rudy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, 
I'm the very insignificant soul that is the dust, one of the dust pieces from me, far away from your feet, but you still remember me. Thank you so much. Great question. Thank you for working on the after party. Well, that's it. Great question, Maharaj. I just wanted to wish you a happy championship. Yes, and also that Jai Prasad Kumar sent you a message from my input. Oh, really? It's in voice, I'm going to try it. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Not really. No, we didn't. 